before you do any self-testing, you have to be sure that your energy is running accurately. Did you ever find yourself saying, Ooh, really, really cold when it's stifling hot out? That's your energy being mixed up. Or you're giving somebody directions and you say, turn right up here when you meant to say turn left. It's your energy mixed up. So here's how to make sure your energy is not mixed up. And then your testing will be accurate. The first thing you want to do is make sure both hemispheres of your brain are working together so the messages are crossing over. You do that by doing what's called a cross crawl. So that's crossing your center line and you can do it like this. You can get fancy like this. You can get even fancier, <laughs> let me think, like this. The point is you're crossing the line and that's important to know both sides are working together but you also got to be sure each hemisphere works by itself so you briefly go one one same side two two but you don't want to be stuck in that mode you want to finish up by doing a cross crawl again i do it at least three times to be sure okay now you want to be sure that your energy is running accurately top to bottom. So you take two fingers and your thumb. Two fingers go under your nose, thumb goes under your lip, other hand, the palm of your hand is over your navel, your energy center. Now I'm not rubbing, I'm doing a very gentle touch kind of saying, yo body, pay attention, wake up, because we're making sure that everything's working. You got about 10 seconds, switch hands, do it again. 10 seconds. Okay, now that's getting your energy top to bottom. Now, you want to get your energy left to right. So what you're doing is you go down your breastbone to where it meets the collarbone, and there are some just gentle little hollows there chances are they're tender. You find something there that hurts, you got the spots. That's because those are your kidney points, the end point of your kidney meridians, and the kidney is about fear and stepping in new directions. So again, the two fingers in the one, and you're gently rubbing about 10 seconds, and then switching 10 seconds. And lastly, you want to be sure your energy is running accurately front to back. And you do that with one hand on your tailbone, your cossacks, and again, the other hand at your navel for about 10 seconds. Switch hands. Okay, but let's be really sure that we got our energy running right. So, one way that many people test themselves is they stand real still and... They just standing still say, show me a yes. And standing still, for me, I fall backward. Most people fall forward. I don't know what you're going to do. So you do what your body does for a yes or a no. That's one simple way. Another way to test yourself for a yes or a no is you take the pad of your middle finger, Put it on the nail of your index finger. Hover them over your thumb. You say, show me a yes, you press gently, and then show me a no, and you press again. There should be a difference. It might be a big difference, like a yes and a no, like some people get. It might be a little difference, like my yes and my no is slight. Another way that many people find easy to do weakest muscles in your body. So what's going on here? You put your thumb to your pinky, you take a couple fingers from the other hand, put them inside. You say, show me a yes, and you press to pull apart. And for most people, it will stay close. And then show me a no, and 
I get a very slight separation. Some people get a big separation. Those are some major ways you can do it. If you have trouble with those, contact me. I'll show you how to use a pendulum. Okay, so now you have your yes, you have your no, you know your energy's running accurately. Now you can test whatever it is you're testing. So when you're testing the product, you want to take it. This is a, this is a CBD tincture that I used when I went through an extremely painful condition recently. And the only way I got any sleep was using this. So I would say, I'd hold it in my energy field and say this. This is healthy, safe, and beneficial for me now. And I have a yes, okay? So if I want to take some now, I can. Then I ask, it's best if I take it once a day? It's best if I take it twice a day? And that's been my norm ever since I had that condition. Yes, twice a day is what my body wants. And then I ask the dose of it. So it's one dropper full is best for me. Okay. So for me, one dropper full, two times a day of this particular product is optimal for me now, today. And tomorrow I would test it again. So it's important to always say this is healthy and safe and beneficial for me at this time or now. Because you know what? It could be the best product in the whole world, the best quality. But sometimes your body just has blocks, can't absorb it, can't assimilate it, can't use it. Now often I can get rid of those blocks so that your body's able to use it. But never ever put something in your body that tests no. Why? Because anything that goes in your body and you can't use it, it's toxic to you. It's poison to you. Same thing. If you're testing and you get no movement, no motion, no yes, no yes, no yes, and no no, it's neutral. You don't put it in your body if it's not going to benefit you. Now, a uh, quick note on nutrition, because you want to do this for your foods also, so you'll stop eating the junk that's hurting you, and you may not realize it's hurting you until you test, because it turns out the things that we're allergic to that really screw up our systems, they're things often we're eating every day, and we're allergic to them. So... You want to be sure and test your foods, especially when you're introducing a new food. When you go to the grocery store, do not buy anything that has ingredients. You buy the pure, nature-made food. So you shop on the outer aisles of the grocery store. You do not go up and down the inner aisles where all the garbage is, where all the chemicals are, where all the GM food, GMO foods are. When you're buying any kind of animal product, you make sure it's pasture-raised, that's grass-fed and grass-finished. There is no law about what grass-fed means, so it's meaningless. You don't buy a product that says grass-fed unless it says grass-finished. And so you know, organ meats have a gazillion more times the nutrition that you're seeking, the plant foods, it doesn't matter how they eat, your body's not getting them. Organ meats will get them in very small portions. So yes, you want some muscle meat, but you're getting your nutrition from the organ meats. So these are some hints for you to look for where you're spending your money, taking care of yourself, 
if you don't feel well and you're taking a supplement for pizza, make sure that you tested it. And there might be something that's better for you. Why do I tell you this? I had a client once and I had a colleague once and they were sick, like so sick, they were almost to the point of dying. They were taking top quality supplements. One was taking homeopathics and the other supplements. Their bodies couldn't use them. They were killing them. We tested, we said, okay, here's this whole bag full of stuff that you've been taking. None of it is working in your body at this time. Stop taking all of it. And you very quickly recover. And so did my colleague. Very important. You don't take a supplement without testing whether it's healthy, safe, and beneficial for you now and what dose and how often. I'm Ellen Bierman. Find me at the Relationship Intelligence. Dot 